What's happening, you guys? Welcome back to This Is Living. Like this video, subscribe to my channel. I just wanna give a huge shout out to Celsius. It's my new favorite flavor, the Oasis vibe. If you wanna get some, go ahead, click the link in the description of this video, check them out. And yeah, thanks for the support. Like and subscribe. very very early and it's very very cold outside fucking freezing we got about a two hour drive ahead of us Once you get down there, it's gonna those those chops are gonna be three times the size yeah. they look like from here. <clears throat> it was still firing. And even if it was a touch yes, smaller with a new swell coming in, oh, I mean, the little one, your yeah. best one was one of those little ones. Yeah, the deeper ones too. The I don't know. <clears throat> Let the chase continue. The perfect <laughs> waves. Perfect uncrowded waves. Sun came out. It's a little bit warmer. I've been drinking coffee, it's getting way more energized. The wave we just checked was actually not so good. There was some bits. It was probably really good like overnight, but all of a sudden there was these huge chops coming through it. So we ended up not going out. It did look fun though, but we just pulled up to this other wave and it looks crazy good. So it's like a barreling right hand point break with no one out. Me, Billy and Wayne are going out. Jack will be on the, on the cliff filming. And we're on. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a long day. Even though it's freezing cold, you still gotta put on a lot of sunscreen down here because there is zero ozone layer in Australia. I've come to find out. You'll just get fried even in the cold. But it's nice. The sun came out. It's warming up a lot. It's nothing like it was earlier. My nose feels all stuffy from the cold weather. But we are in the absolute middle of nowhere.
I'm tripping, dude. I'm so rattled. I was ready to have like the best session of all time. I was in tr I couldn't even surf because I was like, I, I asked, I was like telling him, I was like, bro, I asked him if he's okay. I know. And he gave me like a thumbs up that was pretty rocky. But I seen you going up, I was like, okay, if, if he was hurt, he would have yelled at me. No, I would have told you right I then. just felt weird. I was like, bro, I don't want to be surfing out here if he's just, if like he's in pain. And I seen you walking up the hill like a half dead goat. And I was like, <laughs> dude, dude, I need to help this kid out. That was rough getting up the hill. I wanted to get up before it got even more painful. That's why. Yeah, that's fine. You know when you first do it? Yeah. But. Dude. I'm kind of tripping. I don't know if I'll be able to surf. Well, you're tripping, but look at the bright side. It's not like your foot's f***ing shattered. It's yeah. such a common injury that happens in surfing for backside bell riding. Yeah. Crane, Slater, Luke Davis, Dylan from Fiji, all of those guys have done that same injury. Didn't they shatter their foot? Most of them. Yeah. Uh, Dylan shattered every foot, uh, every bone in his foot except two in the two bones that weren't were f***ing dislocated. Wow. Every, every toe. That same way? At cloud break, same way. Foam ball came up, whoop! Shattered everything. Luke, same thing. I'm tripping. So those Because these are the bones that everyone breaks, backside bell riding it. All of these. Really? That's what breaks. But you would, there's no way. You'd be able to touch it if it was broken. No. Dylan, these are what Dylan, Luke, Kelly, everyone who's broke their foot, it's all this. And you wouldn't, there's no way I'd be it's able to do that. It's pretty painful when I walk on that area. That's probably from not, under here, from this thing. Yeah. That's turf it toe, bro. And like when you step down here, on it, I bent it up. Up. Like that's over. That's how everyone breaks it. Is That's what, uh, Ian Crane just did too. Your board goes whop and everything yeah, breaks in exactly. here. Exactly. But there's no way if that was broken, I'd be able to do that. Yeah, I don't think it's broken. It's, it's probably just, like, just all your ligaments are probably just strained right now. I've had turf toe before. Me too. I had it super bad. I had uh, injections, I had PRP done to it. How From painful Mossy. was that? It was so. Those painful. long needles? Uh, it just depends where you're getting it, but like PRP, like... no, if they do PRP, like I had it done in my hip and in my knee, they use a needle that bends. Bends, the bendy and needle. It's the most <laughs> painful <laughs> injection in the world. My quad and my hip three times, and I just laid in my bed for the last one. I was like, I gotta go to my bed, and I was just like, put a towel in my mouth, and I was like, go. Oh, oh my God, dude. My last one, I got put to sleep. I had to do bone marrow stem cell in, oh. in order to harvest your bone marrow. You can't stay awake. No that. way, you have to be pack, asleep. Pack, pack. And I was like, yes, I get put to sleep for BRP. Dude. Look at this rod. Whoa. I think he's gonna How fly off. God, <laughs> I'm so rattled, dude. I can barely walk on it. And the swell hits tomorrow. It hurt my foot pretty good on that last little wave. I was just like in a barrel, grab my rail, and the foam ball just like whacked me. And my foot was on my board like that, and I just went over and smashed it like this way. Like if I went over and smushed it like that. And I didn't know what happened at first. It just felt really violent on my whole foot. Then I came in, was feeling it out on the beach, and I don't know what, I don't know what happened, but it is painful. I could barely get into my boot just now, and it's getting swollen pretty quickly. It's like, God, that was so painful. That was like a 30 minute session, and it looked like the waves were about to get so good. The boys had a really good time though, Billy and Wayno. I don't know if I'll be able to surf. I might have to go home. It's like sore. Fuck. Shit. We're gonna go home and ice it. Keep icing it. Hopefully, we can stay the bit. The best days are tomorrow and the next day.
Well, that's it. I had to cut the trip short. It's just how it goes sometimes. I hurt my foot on a wave that I really wish I just made. Sick wave. But I just keep telling myself everything happens for a reason. And we're gonna go home, get my foot x-rayed and MRI'd. And yeah, we just got off an eight hour drive into a two hour flight to a three hour layover to a almost 10 hour overnight flight. And then we're home, finally, after about six weeks on the road. It's funny, I, would've, I probably wouldn't have gone home if I didn't injure myself. Maybe I needed a break for a little bit. But I hope you guys enjoy the videos. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, and we're gonna figure out what's wrong with my foot, and hopefully it's all good. And Jack's not gonna have to wheelchair me around the airport anymore, because I woke up this morning, and it was, it's pretty tough walking on it, so. But, it's just how it goes. It is what it is. I'm gonna call Dr. G first thing when I land in Hawaii. Maybe hop over to California. Hopefully nothing's like, too bad, but it's like gone all purple and swollen. I'd show you guys, but I don't want to take my shoe off and my shoe, socks and shoes off. So. Whatever, it's just how it goes, you know. It's all part of it, what we do. Thank God it wasn't worse, you know. We're out in the middle of nowhere. It's just a foot. <sighs> it's gonna be fun. You got a big old burger. <laughs> You're good. I got a burger. I'm not even hungry. Me and Jack got one. Big shout out to Jack, Jermaine, who makes all these videos. Put all my bags on the flight, pushing me through the airport, helping me get home, so thanks Jack. You're a legend. And yeah, we'll, we'll be back stronger than ever. Who knows, maybe it just needs a week to rest. Let the bruising and swelling go down and we'll be good. But we'll keep you updated and I'll let you know. Thanks for watching. Oh god, oh god, oh fuck.